2023 Chrysler 300 Review, the Elder Luxury Sedan goes out with a bang. In the automotive world, 18 years may as well be an eternity, so it says a lot for the Chrysler 300's popularity that it survived this long since its initial resurrection in 2005. Yes, there was a fairly comprehensive facelift for the 2011 model year, but the 300 skeleton underneath remained mostly unaltered in the process. Chrysler couldn't resist giving the old warhorse an extra-large Hemi engine in its final farewell. This brings the powertrain options to three, a 3.6-liter 3 Pentastar V6, the established 5.7-liter Hemi V8, and the high-output 6.4-liter Hemi giving a handy 485 horsepower. All variants are equipped with a ZF 8-speed automatic gearbox, but only the lower output V6 engine can be had with AWD. Over the course of its lifespan, the Chrysler 300's competitors have included the Toyota Crown, Volkswagen Ardian, and Kia Stinger, and they're all as different from the 300 as can be. Combine this with the dwindling popularity of the sedan body style, and it makes sense that the Chrysler 300 series has to take its final bow. But not before treating us to one last hurrah. 2023 Chrysler 300 changes, what's the difference versus the 2022 300? The big news for 2023 is the availability of a big Hemi engine in the new Chrysler 300C sedan. Only 2,000 units will be produced, and it is only available in the USA. The supporting hardware is updated accordingly, with four-piston Brembo brakes, a limited slip differential, active dampers, and an active exhaust rounding out the picture. The other models in the 2023 Chrysler 300 range continue unchanged. Pros and Cons Strong engines across the range Eye-catching and distinctive styling Spacious interior Comfortable ride quality in the lower trim variants In-car technology is very dated Interior materials are decidedly low rent Consumes more fuel than it should at the performance level Outward visibility is compromised due to the shallow side glass 2023 Chrysler 300 Handling and Driving Impressions In the classic American luxury car tradition, the Chrysler 300 is more at home on the highway than it is on a twisty road. In the V6 engine models, the suspension is biased towards comfort, but even so, body movements during sudden direction changes are suppressed quite well, and the steering will relays more information from the road surface to the driver than most newer cars. The handling balance is generally neutral, but the V8 engine models can easily be persuaded to let the rear end step out if the stability control is disabled. Overall, the handling and driving dynamics feel more modern than the car's age would have you believe, although the V8 models can become jittery over rough surfaces. Verdict, is the 2023 Chrysler 300 a good car? Think of the final year Chrysler 300 as a charming throwback to a simpler time rather than as a mere means of transport. The reality is that newer opponents offer more and better in-car technology, similar or better performance from smaller but more efficient engines, better space efficiency, and easier driving thanks to more modern driver assistance systems. Those opponents are likely better made from higher quality materials, as well. Even so, in review, the 2023 Chrysler 300 has its own charms. It's an American luxury sedan in the old tradition, and they simply will not make them like this after 2023. If that's your kind of thing, you won't regret buying one while you still can. 2023 300 Exterior Objectivity should always be applied when assessing the appearance of any vehicle, but putting that aside for a moment, can there be any doubt that this car is way more appealing than a high-riding crossover? Wide and long, the exterior of the Chrysler 300 gives off an air of superiority. A black grille with a bright surround on the lower two trims is replaced by a black chrome surround on the sportier Chrysler 300 S V6 and V8. Bifunctional halogen projector headlights and LED DRLs are standard, while wheel sizes range from 17 to 20 inches. A dual-pane panoramic power sunroof can be optionally equipped to the top three trims. The sport appearance package, with its black 20-inch alloys and blacked-out badging and other elements, premium LED fog lights, and performance front fascia, is standard on the Touring L from this year. 
The new 300C gets a few bespoke elements to set it apart, including a tricolor badge, 20x 9-inch forged wheels, and chrome accents on the grille and lower fascia, with black head and tail lamp bezels. Dimensions At 198.6 inches in length, the 2022 Chrysler 300 is longer than a Mercedes-Benz E-Class, but shorter than an S-Class. Other dimensions paint a picture of the Chrysler's considerable footprint, with a width of 75 inches and a 120-inch wheelbase. The height varies between 58.5 and 59.2 inches depending on wheel size and whether the sedan is equipped with AWD or RWD. In terms of curb weight, the base 300 with the V6 engine and RWD registers a figure of 4,013 pounds, while in AWD guys, it weighs 4,267 pounds. The heaviest model is the V8 at 4,380 pounds. 2023 300 interior. It might impress the neighbors from the outside, but the Krilser 300's interior has undeniably aged. Fortunately, this perception relates mostly to the data design, but once you start using it, the cabin functions well. The dashboard controls for the ventilation and infotainment system don't require a steep learning curve, the lounge-like seats are super comfortable and spacious, and the upper trims feel quite luxurious. The touring is rather basic, though, with cloth upholstery and no heated seats. But higher up, the 300 comes with leather upholstery and power-adjustable seats for both occupants in the front. The safety suite remains rather disappointing, as lane departure warning and adaptive cruise control are both optional only on the top two trims. Seating and interior space Seating comfort is a highlight of the Chrysler 300, with comfortable cushioning keeping everyone happy over longer trips. Added to that, there will be enough interior space for all but the very tallest adults. Although three passengers can fit in the second row, two will be happier. Regardless of the model you choose, the driver's seat boasts 8-way power adjustment with lumbar support, while a memory system for the seat and tilt-slash-telescoping steering column is available. Unfortunately, rearward visibility is obscured by thick roof pillars, so lane changes require careful attention from the driver. The standard blind spot monitoring system on the top three trims is certainly a welcome feature in this car. A low step in height contributes to easy ingress and egress. Interior colors and materials. Only two interior colors are on offer for the Chrysler 300. These are black on black or black slash linen, regardless of the materials you opt for. Speaking of which, the base trim comes with cloth bucket seats and a leather-wrapped steering wheel, while the Touring L is upgraded with leather upholstery. These models can also be upgraded with perforated inserts on the seats, but for this option, the comfort group must be added. On the S models, leather sports seats are equipped, while the new 300C gets Laguna leather embossed with the trim's logo. On the lower two trims, charcoal wood hydrographic interior accents with satin chrome bezels are standard, while the 300S has piano black slash satin chrome accents with piano black bezels. For the new 300C, carbon fiber accents have been introduced. 2023 300 Trunk and Cargo Space The Chrysler 300's trunk space is on par with other sedans of a similar size. We think that 16.3 cubic feet should be enough for daily needs, a couple of golf cases, or around six carry-on suitcases. A 60-40th split folding rear bench seat can be tumbled forward to accommodate lengthier items. Interior storage space is useful rather than brilliant, as we found the door pockets to be a bit smaller than we'd prefer. The usual glove compartment applies, while the center armrest lid can be lifted to reveal a well-sized storage space. All models have two LED illuminated cup holders in the front and more cup holders integrated into the rear seat armrest. Features For access to the best features, you'll need to upgrade to at least the Touring L. However, the 300 isn't exactly laden with features to the same standard as some other large sedans. The base Touring comes with remote keyless entry slash go, push-button ignition, automatic halogen headlamps, and dual-zone climate control. It also gets a manual tilt-slash-telescoping steering column, an 8-way power driver's seat with 4-way power lumbar support, and safety equipment like a rear-view camera and hill start assist.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.